here on the road. Cameron Berg wins the opening draw, and that was a point of contention for North Dakota, something that they struggled with a little bit in last night's game. Right there, that's the play. Uh, they just simplify it. Get it over to Berg and let him just one-time that. He's been red hot. That's what they're looking for. Perron instead tries to squeeze it on the near side, and it sounded like it hit a, some sort of iron. Here comes Perron again, backhand, and denied. North Dakota fans patiently waiting here. Gaber shoots from the circle. Yeah, Gaber had five shots last Johannes night. Johannes out in front hits traffic. It might have hit a Jamernick even. And it's not another snipe from Gaber. Boy, his stick is red hot right now. Two goals last night. Make it three for the weekend for the captain. Power play, it was a simple set play to get it to Gaber over in that circle that he likes to shoot from. Does a great job here. Just... Traffic in front of Pierce Charleston's eyes, so he's unable to do that. But that's what makes Reese Gaber so good. Watch how he changes the direction of that stick. So you look at the angle of the stick right here. This is why it's so hard to defend him. He just can brush that stick off, but he changes the direction. That Bird Johannes Gaber line back out there, so successful last night. Gaber with the lone goal in this one so far. He's going to shoot again, and that one finds the back of the net again. I think it was Johannes who might have got a piece of it out front. In front of the net. Honest player right there. He just gets rewarded with the puck going off of him. I don't even know if he gets a stick on this. Watch it. Does it go off the shin pad or hit him somewhere? He raised his hand right away. This will probably be the best look. It took a weird balance as you see the goaltender's reaction. Pierce Charlson. Right there, yeah, it hits off of us. Kind of. Approaching the four minutes remaining mark, here comes Bergmanis. Backhand pass, great feed to DeBlanc for the goal! I think that might have been Matsui. Oh, it good. is Peyton Matsui, his second goal of the weekend, and it cuts North Dakota's lead in half. Penalty gonna be drawn. Good job, look at the smart play. Back behind your back play. Does a great job right here. Look at that. Just a great play there. To just throw that back. And this is Bergmanis, remember, who was potentially going to be a game ejection. He stays in the game, and he's... Two goals last night. We'll see if he's ready to pull the trigger again. Bergmanis, cross ice to the corner to risk. Off target. Bergmanis again, and another score, Risk. Off the great feed from Bergmanis, so two assists for Bergmanis in a matter of seconds. Here to start, but talk about the great play. This was just tic-tac-toe. Excellent job by Risk to finish that, but Bergmanis has been very impressive of his ability to goal. The first goal, he just throws it behind his back, and this one right in the wheelhouse, just crossed. And again, this is an Alaska team, that we mentioned it yesterday, that is so desperate to get a win like this because it's their last chance to really make some hay in the pairwise rankings, and letting that game recoil. Sends one in from a far... Sharp angle shot difficult. and a big Bingo. hit. Yeah, Berg knocks down McDonald. When a big man like that gets hit, the fall is even harder. Gaber in the slot. Rebound. Score! Cameron Berg likes the lamp. And that line strikes again. And they just go after you right there. It starts with the big hit by Johannes. Berg does a great job. And then Gaber, a good job just getting the puck from D up to the D. D goes down. And then you find Reese Gaber in the slot. It's a block shot that he tries to get through, and Cameron Berg does a good job just getting to the front of the net and finding a loose puck. You got to go out and close out a game. And Alaska is that type of team that's, again, yep. hard to play against. Yesterday was maybe a little bit uncharacteristic. Ooh. The shot comes in there from Berg, and just the way things unraveled there in the second, because they were just shorthanded the whole time. A good right pad save there. He had to be alert. That came from Loda, the front of the net, in a hurry, and he had to kick that right leg out. Here comes Blake. Came into the weekend. Leading oh, points, score, play, three points, and another penalty by McLaughlin. 
What a job by Blake to find McLaughlin there. A busted play that Blake scoops up and hounds on a puck to find McLaughlin laying in the slot. And he tucks that in and a big goal to put North Dakota up 4-2. to two. His fourth three-point game of the season last night. A good job, though. Look at Jody driving your feet. Keep going, keep going. That's what I said. I want to see a little... Another gear out of him right here. Hunter on pucks right here. Excellent play. McLaughlin gets lost. Finds open ice, but Blake makes a great play along that half wall. Sticks with it. Fights through a check. A good job. You got your other stick. It was just to the right of him, still hanging there on the side of the net. Here comes North Dakota again. Perron. It's that shooting gallery right now. North Dakota all over Alaska. Boy, surprise is Perron. Finally. Escapes and avoids the post. He gets a goal. In front, Pierce Charleston never catches this. Good job. Good keep in there by Pipe, who's going to get an assist against this former team. That puck just has eyes, gets through the lanes right here. Look at in front. I think his own defenseman, Bert Manis, was in front. The win, he's going to give them his team an opportunity, and why not, right? I give it outnumber the body. He should have. Plenty of people around pucks. And that one is going to clink home. I don't know if that deflected off Israel's. Oh, yeah, for I sure. I think it did. Well, I'm going to look at the crease area because Israel's was right in front. And this puck just comes in. And nope, it's not going to be any goalie interference there. This puck just goes a little bit wide. And it hits Israel, I believe. Right here, just a wide shot. And poor Hobie Edquist. I mean, he had two of these wonky bounces last night in here. Look at this puck's going to go wide. And that's just a terrible bounce. Does that hit his? That might hit his hand. I think I so. I wonder if you challenge this. Why not if you're Brad Berry? That was the best angle. I'm able to see if it was like. And we will listen in on the call as Brandon Schmidt's going to let us know. Determined that Alaska 24 directed the puck directly in the net with his right hand. We have no goal. It's a great challenge by Brad Berry and a huge opportunity. Like I had said, that unfortunate bounce, if that Israel goal would have counted. He had some bad puck luck there as, this weekend. Matt Sui off the leg of Zmolik. 12th block of the season for North Dakota. And another tally for Johannes. The empty net goal with 1.7 left. And for the second straight night, North Dakota puts up a six spot. Empty net, or remember, he had a great opportunity in that second period that he missed on here. He just gets it and whistles it right down and finds the back of the net for North Dakota. I think we're going to hear from a happy coach as a sweep for the fans here at Ralph Engelstead Arena, and they'll get to see a stick salute here tonight. Well, North Dakota scored 11 goals.